Hi, this is Laura from Laura's Lovely Gifts in Lake Elsinore, California. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I put together this pumpkin arch based off of one I saw online. The inspiration I found was from Pinterest, and it was an ad for this pumpkin arch from Overstock. This particular one, which is made of metal and is much better put together, was $2,500, and I was not about to spend that, so I decided to DIY. It was very hard to find pumpkins this year, so we ended up ordering from three different Walmarts. I stacked them six high, and I originally had only planned on using one box from Chewy, but I ended up using two on either side. I laid the pumpkins upside down on a tarp along with my flamingos from the previous video, and I gave them each a coat of paint. Once that dried, I turned them around so that I could get the sides that I missed from the first time, and then I did the tops. I used an inch and a half hole saw. Going back on that, though, I would have gone for the two inch hole only because when I put the PVC in, I had to string the lights first, which made it very difficult to stay together because once the PVC pipe was in, the lights would not fit through the hole as well. The marble contact paper is from Amazon. I ended up ordering three rolls, the third roll being twice the length of the first two, but it ended up being a better deal. It is very sticky and it does want to roll back into its shape. So I would recommend if you're going to try this, either have somebody helping you or lay it out flat the night before with something heavy on it just to keep it more stable when you're trying to figure out where to put your box. For the boxes themselves, I only did the sides that would be seen. So the bottom boxes only got the front and sides. And then the top boxes, I only did the top part that the pumpkin would be sitting on because it's all you were going to see. I taped the insides of it just to keep it a little bit sturdy. And I cut, I measured each box at the same position right around the center. And I cut a two inch hole on the inside of each box and then wrapped the hole and taped the inside of it. For the top box, I decided to make it a cemetery sign. I wrapped it just like I did the others, and I cut a hole in the bottoms of it where it would be connecting to the pumpkin. I ended up having to trim the PVC pipe a bit because that went up a little too high and there was too much of a space in between. To create the holes that the lights would go through, I just jammed a screwdriver through. I did measure it out about an inch to an inch and a half, I think it was, between each hole. And I used a Phillips head screwdriver and just twisted it inside the box a bit. I did that again once the wrapping paper, once the contact paper was over it. 
you can see in the picture here, I tested it with the blue LED lights. I ended up not using those because the bulbs were too short. If you have a way that you can stick them in, I would have had to tape everything down and the lights were still just popping out of the, the holes. I ended up going with an older style light that had a longer bulb that stuck out better on its own. I did still have to tape the back, which you'll see in a bit. I cut the cemetery words using my Cricut Maker and I will link the font down below or at least give the name of it. I used permanent vinyl to attach it to the contact paper. And then I ran my lights through and taped them every few strands. Assembly was a bit of a testing period. Like I said earlier, I did not cut the holes big enough, which I would do. Obviously, I would do the holes in the pumpkins bigger next time. But... I had to string the lights through, so I strung the lights through a pumpkin, set it on top of the box or wherever it was needing to sit, and then after I had about five feet, I was able to put my first five-foot PVC pipe through. Then I added my connector, and I kept going with the other pumpkins. It was a five-foot piece of PVC and a two-foot piece of PVC that the two-foot piece had to have about six inches cut off of each of them. And then it was that two foot piece that stuck out through the top pumpkin and into the bottom of the cemetery sign. My recommendation for the future for this would be in order to keep the cemetery sign on top better, I would put some sort of stabilization or a flap of some sort in the bottom back of the cemetery sign just so that the PVC pipe stays where it's supposed to. I would also suggest for the boxes that you're covering in marble, I'm going to look for a craft crate or a wooden box of some sort that I can drill the holes into as well and just use the marble box as sort of a cover for it. We did have an incident with wind and the weight of the pumpkins did kind of start to weigh the boxes down a bit. I've been stabilizing them with other pieces of cardboard for right now. I do plan on using these boxes in the future for Christmas, and I can't wait to show you how I plan on reworking this. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like the videos.